Man, I just got back from Ho Chi Minh City, back in Malaysia, and this trip began on the 18th of July. And I carried like three pairs: the Foam Runner, the Atmosphere Dunk SB, and the Pata Air Max One Monarch. And I needed to get like a fresh pair, uh, something that I could walk around in because I've been really walking around in these pairs. And I'm not saying they're uncomfortable, but the Atmos SB is really not a walking pair. For instance, on the Foam Runner, I clocked about 35 kilometers so far. So anyway, I ordered a pair from Ox Street. It's probably arrived. I'm gonna go and unbox it. The next. So I'm gonna be unboxing my first ever pair of New Balance sneakers. Completely recycled materials. So now we're gonna lift the lid and take a closer look at the sneaker. Yeah, Leo, Leo, I said, I'm not doing it. What? What? Oh, okay, 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 fine, fine. Sorry, we gotta go for a, a family vacation, so we're gonna shoot this later. Later. What is Neil going through? Feeling the lyrics, sir. <laughs> Two. We finally got into the Airbnb in Penang. This is my first ever pair of New Balance sneakers, and I went for the 2002R. And yeah, I gotta talk about sizing. So, like in Adidas, a US 9 would be a UK 8.5, versus a Nike where a US 9 would be a UK 8. New Balance sizing works like in Adidas. So. This one is a US 9 and a UK 8.5. So the 2002R runs small, whereas models like the 990 and the 992, I hear they run big. Therefore, on those models, you'd go through to size on your UK size. And on this one, you'd go through to size on your US size, if that makes sense. Bam! The Rain Cloud by New Balance 2002R is the base silhouette like you can see right here. And uh, yeah, I've had my eye on this pair for a while and I picked it up thanks to the guys at Ox Street right there. You'll have seen my earlier videos as well. I picked up the Ambush Dunk and the Pata Air Max from uh, Ox Street. Now let me run through the details of this pair really quickly. You have all of these panels that seem like they're detached, like they'll come loose or come undone. My nails courtesy my niece Nina. Of course, the base panel here is mesh. You have the N embroidered on here. A bit of 3M hits right there. These are all suede panels. The New Balance N stitched on on these panels. So like you can see, there's different shades of gray. There's this dark gray, this medium gray right here, and this light gray. As we go on to the back, you have this perforation with this dark gray panel. And the New Balance logo is done right there in yellow. More of that distressed suede. And you have some distressed leather too. I mean distressed is not the right word. Deconstructed I think is uh, more like it. Let's go on to the midsole. Now this has, like you can see, energy. And from what I know, it's also got absorbed. The way I feel it, by just squishing it, it feels hella comfy. And then you have these gel like pods on the heel what's interesting is keeping with the what is the word i use not distressed what is that deconstructed they even made the outsole a little <laughs> they made the outsole as well a little discolored like you can see it's gotten all white like it's been run with or used and then of course you have your torsion plate what does new balance call it stability web now this is going to be my first ever pair of New Balance shoes. I of course went into a store and tried on a few 2002 hours before I figured out that I need to go half a size up on my UK sizing and stay true to my US sizing. Oh, I forgot the tongue right here also has that deconstructed feel to it and the foam is exposed on the inside. You have the mesh paneling right here with New Balance just like you'd seen this yellow panel right here on the heel and the base of the tongue is the same mesh like you've seen on the toe box you have a perforated insole let me get that out oh i can quite easy to get out too 
So there you go, the perforated New Balance insole done in Burgundy. And you got New Balance there, and that's the insides. That's it now. I'm gonna slip these on feet in the real world to show you what they look like, and I'll come back and tell you how the comfort is. Oh no, I should edit this bit out of my vlog, I guess. Yeah. Day Later. On my way back to Mangalore after a month and I've been wearing these uh, 2002 hours for quite a few days. When we went to Penang, in fact, I wore it for 8 kilometers straight and man, I gotta tell you, not disappointed at all, quite, quite, quite happy. It's super comfy, it's not like an ultra boost squishy, but it's firm and squishy, if you know what I mean. Tomorrow. Even now I'm shooting this in my cab. As I head home from the airport, uh, the sizing was perfect. I've worn it in total since the day I first wore it for I think about 15 kilometers now because there was a fair bit of uh, walking around, going to coffee shops and all of that stuff. So yep, yeah, that's it for uh, the 2002 hour review. Sorry about this haphazard video but it is what it is I guess. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys. Until then, stay safe. Peace.